Welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about reflection on a coordinate plane. A reflection is when an object is moved across the line of axis. It is like a mirror image, and the axis is the line of symmetry. Steps for creating a reflection. First, identify each ordered pair. Second, identify which axis you are reflecting over. If you reflect across the x-axis, then the y-coordinate changes. If you reflect across the y-axis, the x-coordinate changes. Third, look at the ordered pairs and determine which number will become its opposite and which one stays the same. Fourth, plot the new ordered pairs. Fifth, connect the points to create a reflection or mirror image. Let's look at an example of creating a reflection. Okay, let's go ahead and set up this first reflection. And I've already got this shape drawn in and the coordinates are two, negative one, four, negative one, five, negative four, and one, negative four. And I'm going to reflect over the x-axis. So the x-axis will stay the same and the y-axis will change. So I'm going to rewrite the coordinates and then we'll just plot them. Since we're reflecting over the x, the x will stay the same. So it will become 2, positive 1, 4, positive 1, okay, 1, positive 4, and finally 5, positive 4. And then all I have to do is plot these. So I'm going to go 2, positive 1. So I go, the x is always the first. So it's 2, positive 1. And then we go 4, positive 1. Here's a 4. I know it's very okay, small. And then so we go with 1, 4, which is 1 and 4, and 5 and 4. And then I'm going to connect the dots. And you'll see that it is a nice reflection and that is reflecting over the x x stays the same the y change now what if we switch it up and we now we, we will reflect over the y axis and so what i will do here if i can get my paper straightened out is uh, i've got a very easy reflection and uh, let's look at this so we have one two and so this time the y stays the same, so it would be negative 1, 2. And then 1 and 4, the y stays the same, would be negative 1 and 4. And finally, we have negative 3 and 3. So there they are. Now we will re-graph these, plot these. So now we have negative 1 and 2, negative 1 and 4 and negative 3 and 3. So from the origin negative 3 and 3, I'm going to connect the dots and you will see that it is a reflection of that shape. Okay. On this one, remember, I'm reflecting over the y. The y stay the same, the x change, and there's a reflection on a coordinate plane. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.